by one of my subscribers to show my blush collection as well as some swatches and such. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Blushes are one of my favorite um, makeup products. I really love blushes, especially the ones that are limited edition. Um, the ones from MAC, um, from Benefit, although I've never tried the ones from Benefit before. I'm going to start off with um, Maybelline ones. I think I need to bring you a little bit further in. Now that I've brought you further in, um, this is from Maybelline. Um, this is the Clear Smooth Minerals Healthy Natural Luminous Blush. And I have four of these. They came up with four and I bought all four. But I'm not quite sure whether these are still available. Let me start off with Gentle Pink. Okay, this is the color right here. Oh my god. This is why I don't really like uh, mineral blushes or mineral powders in general. It gets everywhere. There we go. It's a very nice um, bright pink color. It does have a little bit of shimmer. I don't mind shimmer at all. Some people, they don't like shimmer. They like only matte um, blushes and then they like to put highlighter on. Um, for me, I like both. I like matte as well as I like shimmer. And it depends on the days that I um, make, wear my makeup. Sometimes I don't want to put shimmer on so I'll use the shimmery blushes. This one is Original Rose. Original Rose is more of a peachy color but it has silver glitters to it. This is how it looks like. It is peachy but it has silver flecks in it and it's very shiny. Look at the shine there. It's very nice. Next up is one of my favorites. Um, this is in True Peach. True Peach is more peachy. Very, very peachy. It's more vibrant than uh, Original Rose. And this looks fabulous on Asian skin tones because it's very warm. And um, if you use this correctly, you can use it as a contouring uh, shape too. It's very subtle, but it's so pretty. It looks like there's a nice flush to the skin. For Asian people, it's nicer. Put on some peachy colors. Really pretty. Okay, this is my favorite blusher. My all-time favorite blusher. And this is in Soft Mauve. Soft Mauve is more of a, a dusty pink color. It looks like this. Okay, if I apply it there, it doesn't look much, but my goodness, if you apply this, um, if you have a very smoky eye and you apply this on, it completes the look. You don't need to apply any other, um, what do you call it, any other blusher. Because when you have a smoky look and when you put on a very dark lips, you don't want too much on your cheeks. This is the kind of color that you should go for, a mauve pink color. Dark enough as well as light enough for all skin tones to wear. If this particular um, blush is still in the market, um, get it. It's the best um, blusher ever. This is my go-to blush if I don't know which blush I should use that day. I will always go to this. Um, like I said just now, this is in Soft Mauve uh, from Maybelline. Let's spice things up a little bit here and there. Let's start off with some cream blushes. The first one that I'm going to show you is from Inovi, given to me by um, the representative from Inovi, and I love it. Um, it is, uh, it feels a bit silicone-y, but when you apply it on, it glides smoothly and not patchy at all um, when you apply it. Um, it's very very nice. Um, this is in Urban Night. It's a peachy 
peachy pink this is so pretty um, if you have a very subtle eye and then you apply this on off if you want to know where to purchase Inovi products please go to their website or go to their Facebook page to find out this is from Stella oh, I love this one too this is their convertible color dual lip and cheek cream this is in rose or number six I think you can get this in Sephora I think I saw it that day I think so but it's a very dark blush dark I think it's a dark rose color more like a little bit like maroon and this is so pretty on the lips my goodness I love this product. I think that Stella did a good job in creating the vertebral colors. I think they did a fantastic job. This one is the same one um, from Stella. This is in Lilium. Lilium is more of a dusty rose color. As you can see, I've used a lot of this because I use this one sometimes when I want to intensify my um, powder blush or sometimes when I just don't want to think too much of what blush to wear. Besides the soft mauve, I choose the Lilium from uh, Stila. See, it's just like a neutral kind of color. It's a dusty rose color, a dusty Peachy. On certain lights, it looks like a very light pink, but I think it's more of a light peachy pink, I think. That seems to be the trend. This one is in Poppy. Poppy is very pretty too. Now, Poppy compared to Rose, Poppy is a little bit more red. A little bit of a bright red. This is Poppy, this is Rose. And both are just so pretty. If you use this on your lips, oh. It's like so pretty. Highly recommend um, the Stila Convertible Lip Creams. And it stays on for quite a while actually on your um, cheeks because it's a very creamy formula so it doesn't move that much. One more cream item. This one is from MAC and this is from the Emmanuel Ungaro collection. The color is in Crush Bougainvillea and this is the cream color base. As you can see I've used a lot of it. It's a bright fuchsia color. Um, I've never worn this on my lips before. I've only used it on my cheeks. But um, it, this one gives a very nice deep flush to the skin. The Inovi blushes that I bought. I love these blushes. It's very pigmented, very good um, quality blushes. This one is in Berry. That's Berry. This one is Juice. Juice is a very light pink. This is Juice. This is Future. It's a darker pink. This is Future. Not Future, but Future. As in Back to the Future. It's in Pixie. Kind of like a bronzy color. Uh, there we go. This one is hyperbolic. This one is how blush looks like. Dusk. Nice light pink. basic orange very light orange don't use this one too much either see that 
a better use for this would be as a contouring blush Lumina and it's a highlight color and it's so pretty magnificent color this one is in Entice Entice that's Entice right there when I choose my blush, I need to make sure it matches with my eyeshadow. Usually, when it's a warm tone eyeshadows that I use, I will use a warm tone blush. Just to let you know, the way I store um, my blushes is in these kind of um, containers. You can get these from Daiso uh, for five ringgit each. For next blushes, I have pinched. Peachy pink color with gold undertones. This one is in Spice. Spice is a mauve kind of color. And I love this. Now, NYX blushes are really great. They blend really well. And they are not that expensive. Spice. This one is in Silky Rose. It's a reddish mauve pink. Sorry. It's a rosy mauve pink color. And there we go. That one is Sp uh, Silky Rose. This one is in Mocha. That one is Mocha. Let's move on up to MAC. Style Demon. Oh, so pretty. It's a marble um, blush. It's a reddish blush with gold. This one is Max Fadabulous. It came up with the Style Demon as as well as some other uh, mineralized blushes. There you go. Bite of an Apple. It came up with the Venomous Villains collection. Very pretty color, very hot kind of pink. This is not a very pigmented blush, um, however, it's very pretty and it's a matte color. It's a dark pink color. Hipness. I guess you can guess what kind of color I like. Hypnos is a very semi matte color. Um, it's a peachy color and it gives a very nice soft um, light flush to the skin. The last color is Blush Baby. Blush Baby is a permanent collection from MAC. Um, this one is a fail safe or foolproof color. If you don't have any idea what color to use, you can always use um, Blush Baby for your blush. That's all for my blush collection. I think I have almost every color <laughs> there is to offer on blushes. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and if you do have any questions on the products that I've shown, let me know in the comment section below. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!